Welcome home, Rep Back. Mark is here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day. And I'm also trying to create the world's biggest. SpongeBob, the Nickelodeon collection, <laughs> but not just that. The creator, founder, CEO, Demi Lord, overall beast of this channel, does work nighttime security at Goofy Goobers. <laughs> But I hope you beautiful people are having an amazing day. And if you guys aren't, it's about to get a whole lot brighter. Because it's the mail that never fails. It's Comfort Cartoons mail time. Camera flip. <laughs> it's about to get a whole lot brighter right back. Kizzy Boy is here, and today we are going to be opening up some packages. You guys can see them right down here. We have a bunch of them, and these came from beautiful people just like you that support this show. So huge shout out to them. We're going to be opening it up, and if you guys don't know, usually it's filled with all the stuff that we love collecting and talking about on this show. Nickelodeon, Disney, Cartoon Network, anything 90s, 2000s, or fits the vibe. And we're going to check it all out, see what they wanted to send in and share with you beautiful people, and even get to add some stuff to the collection. And not just that, what the end of the show, we get to label those items that we add to the collection with the person who sent its name in, so that way they live forever around us here in the cavern and in the collection. Shout out to Don and T-Dog. So without any further ado, the unboxing knife is here. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so we have a bunch of packages here. Let's go ahead and start off with this big one. This one comes from my man, Limestone Picker. His channel is on screen right here. If you guys haven't checked out Limestone's channel, he does a bunch of awesome nostalgia content. Right now, he is on a quest, much like me, with trying to collect as many copies of the SpongeBob movie as I can. He's trying to collect as many Adam Sandler movies as he possibly can, <laughs> which I love that goal so much. Just for limestone here. First off, I want to I want to do this for him. He has a little uh, joke on his channel. Do you hear that? I know you hear that. <laughs> <laughs> He'll understand that. But anyway, what's your favorite Adam Sandler movie? I gotta, I gotta go with Grown Ups. Grown Ups, pretty funny. <laughs> it's awesome. You have four amazing comedians in that one, all kind of collaborating together. But I think my favorite movie. I don't even know if Adam Sandler is in the movie very much, but I love. I think he produces it, maybe directs it. But it's Bench Warmers. That movie is hilarious. So this is coming from Limestone. Let's go. Go ahead and check it out. That's all you're getting. That was kind of a lot, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so let's take it out one item at a time here. We have a lot of stuff I can already tell to check out. So let's just go ahead and get straight into it. So he's already helping me out of my goal here. He sent two copies of the SpongeBob movie that we can add to our stack. Like I said, I'm not. I, my goal is not to have the world's biggest collection of SpongeBob movies, but I'll go for it if it happens. You know, I just yeah. want to have like an actual totem pole. I've just Spongebob movies going straight upward. This is Yellow Tower, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know what? If it happens, it happens. So we have two copies of the Spongebob movie. Love that, thank you. And let's take a look what else we got in here. Okay, so it looks like a little framed item here. Ooh, it's like a little Garfield tile. Have you hugged your boss today? Uh, have you? I don't know, I've seen Daisy around lately. Um, today, I have not hugged her. Yesterday, I did hug her. She's on her own adventure today. Um, sometimes she intimidates me, so I get a little <laughs> bit worried. But I, I should go hug her today. <laughs> that is super cute, though. I love this. It's 1978 on there. That's the trademark for Garfields. I don't know the year on here. But nonetheless, I love that it's tile. That's such a cool little like piece to like put on your desk or something, then. It's unique, too, because yeah. usually it's like canvas or a little poster image. But the fact that it's tile, I mean, man, I like to dream and imagine the Jim Davis that his whole house is just these tiles different oh, ones. Oh, that'd be so cool. <laughs> like the kitchen backdrop. Oh, that would be dope. Jim Davis, if you're hearing this. <laughs> Jim Davis, let us design your house. <laughs> there we go. That is so cute. Okay. Ooh, we got some patties here. We have the egg-shaped sliders, which I don't know if we have these in the collection. I know we have a lot of different patties in the collection, but the I'll, have, ones are sick. Yeah, I'll have to check out and look in our, our food vault and see if uh, we have these ones. But that is super sweet. Thank you so much. Oh, Mitchell, no. he did not leave you hanging, man. Look, we have one minion. You could have left me hanging. <laughs> <laughs> Two minions, three minions for minion, 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 Mitchell! Yeah! 
<laughs> you know, uh, I don't, it, it, I'll let him do that this one time. He's been voting for me in the thrift videos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Just because he votes for you in verses? Yeah. Well, you know what? That's one for every vote. <laughs> this is compensation for him voting for you for me. <laughs> he sent you this. Okay, but Mitchell already has these, actually. I'm sorry, Limestone. These are actually uh, triplicates in his triplicates. collection. He already has two of each of these. So let's see what we got here next. I have no clue how this got just so randomly in here, but nonetheless, this is awesome. Scooby Doo in the Toon Tour. This is one of those Kellogg's discs you could get. It is a bit rough here. You know, maybe it could be uh, cleaned, but nonetheless, just the artwork on that is sweet. I could appreciate just that. All right, the next. Oh, how did he even find these? We have Eureka's Castle. That is sick, man. And we do not have any of this like represented here in the cavern. These are for sure going to be hanging out somewhere here in the cavern. Just as little like totems, Eureka's Castle. That is so cool. I want to say they're like puppets, but they're like these little like molds that you can actually set down from 1990. That is clean. This is early 90s Nickelodeon here. If you guys watch the show, let me know. Oh, some more patties. Oh, dude, these are Whoa. sweet. This is the Christmas box. This is a Valentine's Day box. Oh, and this is the limited oh, edition. A one. Yeah. Yes, this is the limited edition one they did with the watermelon mixed in to the colored ones. All three of these, I might have this one, but these two for sure, this box size, we do not have. So I would love to add that to our stack of different box sizes of this particular like movie theater size boxes. That I'm is glad so that uh, cool. Frankfurt does that though. They don't make the boxes all different. Yeah, I know. That's almost like they want you to collect them. I love it. I mean, they've been doing that since the original, you know, the I original. Know. A Nick Candy box. It's a nice size. Yeah, nice size. Nice size. <laughs> what are we? Oh, <laughs> jogging is not for loafers. That is so sick. Where does he find this like weird Garfield stuff? Garfield has some of the most like unique like merchandise because it's 70s, you know? So like, they're like, well, vinyl figures aren't really a popularized thing. So what if we just make little trophies you know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and little tile displays? That is so cool. It's kind of a weird test of time. Yeah, like, oh yeah, let's make something out of tile. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is awesome. Oh yes, I have some Ooh. new bowls. You guys know I use these bowls actively. <laughs> All of these I use in my house daily, literally daily. We have two new bowls for the collection here. Literally last time I saw the, uh, this size bowl, it had like hot Cheetos in it. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I'm always using those plates and those bowls. I just think like why, you know, yeah, you can get buy like your, your Target tile uh, blue sp uh, black splash paint plates, but that's so boring when you could eat something and at the bottom you're gonna see SpongeBob, are you kidding? me that should not be left for only kids that enjoyment <laughs> okay so I, I enjoy these very much limestone and thank you so this one says what does it say fortified by Krabby Patties <laughs> Ooh, another Garfield trophy. Live for the weekends. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he's a cat and he doesn't even have a job, but he still lives for the weekend. What do you mean? His job is freaking dealing with Odie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Odie's still there on the weekend. <laughs> That's wild awesome. Okay, so next up here. Ooh, it's some interesting ooh. VHS here. We have Roly Poly Oli, the great defender of fun. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, I love the little blue uh, piece right here as well, too. Nice little movie. Heck yeah, so Roly Poly Oli on VHS. Ooh, Whoa. that is dope. Spooky pants. Yes, this is definitely new. We have a couple Halloween books, but we've never seen this one that I can recall. It's Sponge oh, I thought he, I thought it was Ollie's real quick. I was, <laughs> dang, he went from making movies to making SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> from making movies to, get this, to handing out discounts. <laughs> it would have been ironic if you had found that there. But nonetheless, this, this is really cool. It's a jack-o'-lantern of SpongeBob, which there are some SpongeBob jack-o'-lanterns that exist. We'll put some on screen here. The Frankenstein one's cool. Yeah, the book one is my favorite now, though. So you have him here with the uh, mermaid uh, man classic. costume. We have him in his really classic, his original, the haunted mattress. <laughs> we have a luau SpongeBob. Yeah, it just shows SpongeBob in different costumes. That is really, really sweet. You see a lot oh. of those. I love the little lollipop in the back, so it's like this, and then behind his hand is holding one of the lollipops. Oh, like he's holding it behind his back. That's cool. Yeah, that's so cute. <laughs> You're not going to believe what this button it says. It says Avatar, so... It's Avatar, but don't take Iroh's advice on this one. Especially when it comes to, you know, the country. <laughs> Choose treachery. It's more fun. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is more fun. You might get in a world of trouble, but it, it is more fun, I suppose, Iroh. Alright, so we have the Avatar the Last Airbender button. That's an, a really cool find. Like, Limestone always finds some cool stuff. Like, even not just the stuff that he sent over here to Comfort Cartoons, but in his own videos, he finds some awesome 
some stuff over there in this area. Okay, oh yes, we have a new tin, it looks Ooh. like. A SpongeBob oh. full body tin? That's, That's sick. incredible! <laughs> oh, I love it so much. I love it so much. That is gonna look so clean down he here. He is a huge profile, yeah. I know, like we have We only have like one, yeah. There's the one with him skiing, and then there's this one right here, which is also pretty cool. But this one's so big. That's incredible. It was made by Mr. Mr. Tim? I'm gonna find out. This was made by none other than, as Mitchell and Parker call it, the Tim Box Company. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they say Tim instead of Tin, but you know, I think we're, I'm just going with it. <laughs> Here it is. The Tim Box Company did make this. Aw, oh, dude, this is beautiful. Wow. I'm so there's like hyped right now. Yeah, it feels like there's something in there. <gasps> Whoa! I don't know if I can handle it. <gasps> I can handle it, but it's gonna be tough. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, so we have the uh, pop ups here some of these guys which I know we have some of them do you remember which container in this room contains all of our uh your minis our minis I like remember this stuff like as if I put it in there moments ago but do you remember is it a container there I I'll give you a hint it's not down there I, I don't think it is wait maybe it is I was like did you move it I don't remember yesterday very well <laughs> <laughs> um it's Either in that Squidward container up there, or it's in... I swear it was in one of those. This? Yeah! Oh yeah, and I'm already seeing, we do not have that SpongeBob for sure. The robot? Yeah, we do not have the robot SpongeBob. We don't have this Arnold in here that I can see. And we do have the Leo, but hey man, it's, it's okay, I'll take another one in there. We have Raphael's equipment here, we don't have that one. So let's go ahead and get into this now. So, oh, this little Zerg is sick. We have this one from Blaze. I'm gonna add him. Yeah. <laughs> we have Dora's backpack, which I feel like we do have that one, but hey, we'll throw it in there anyway. It's okay. What do we have? Oh, this little dude, do you remember these? I do. Those are like the little party favors. This is a little party favor, like kaleidoscope. Not a kaleidoscope. What is it called? A viewfinder. Can you see in there? Oh, he's walking a jellyfish. Oh, they're rollerblading. <laughs> we actually gave these away to people on whatnot. And then once we did all of it, I was like, did I have one? And I did it. <laughs> so now I have one. That is so cool. Oh, dude, this is awesome. This Patrick, this is from the Jack Specific line. Ooh. This is so cool. So that's from those yellow packages back there. I believe that we maybe have the Sandy out of the box too. So now we have the Patrick out of the box. We need a couple more characters, but the Patrick is so cool. This would be yellow label era. So it's going to have to just go somewhere over here hanging out. We don't have a whole shelf for yellow label yet, but this is 2009. Then we have over here, we have Patrick. This is the old school Pez for Patrick. We have the OG Pez for hey. SpongeBob here. And oh, <laughs> we finally got Zerg. <laughs> Dude, he looks so sick. His eyes with the crystal red. Dude, truly menacing. He can control my galaxy. <laughs> if you look that awesome, you might own rights to the galaxy. So I've been looking for this Zerg, Dorable, for so long. We've opened up so many Dorable packs looking for any of the Zergs throughout the Dorable's canonity. And we have not found one. So big shout out to you, Limestone. You guys can tell he's a watcher of this show. Every single video. Appreciate you so much, man. This guy is going to be very, very well loved. That is sweet. Okay, and then we have Blaze, the actual. Uh, truck here. I kind of love this. It's definitely like a Cars inspirational, you know, series, but either way, it is technically Nickelodeon and I love it. So we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll find a good place for Blaze. Yeah, I don't think we have any representation of Blaze in here. We do have Paw Patrol, but we don't have Blaze. So maybe if we have to put anything, I think that the real monster truck should be it, you yeah. know? And then we have a Woody in here too. But dude, this tin is so freaking sweet. I'm in love with this tin right now. That is so clean. I love that the back is like all well done too. The tin box company. All right, so keeping it going here, let's check it out. Oh yes, a SpongeBob hairbrush. Wow. <laughs> I told you, SpongeBob has anything and everything you can think of. This is yellow label era. And I love that the tips of it have the little yellow like nibbles Those on things. there. I always fall off when I used to use them. <laughs> you don't use them now? Oh, I do, but I keep falling off. <laughs> <laughs> you can just be like, nope, just shave it. That's it. <laughs> but this is sweet. I love it. I love the little like ocean style handle on it. There's actually a little glitter within the handle too. So that's a unique piece we definitely don't have. Awesome. Next up, ooh, a big old SpongeBob Whoa, box. Dominoes. SpongeBob Dominoes. And oh, checkers. And checkers. They're like, you know what, Dominoes? That might not be enough value. Let's give them some checkers. <laughs> 
I just love the box. So yeah, the box is really sweet. It's like lenticular and stuff like that. Like this is one of those things like, I don't even like dominoes or, or checkers, but I would get this for the box. So yeah, that's taped up. We're gonna leave that taped up right here though. You know, I kind of want to see them. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, so it comes with these little miniature versions of the characters. Hey, and then there's this little Patrick one too. I almost want to take two of these out and put them over there with our shelf, but it is 2007, so I might have to just find another place to put them. They're super cute. And then the tiles themselves look like this. That's sandy. Yep, they're all sandy now. <laughs> Oh, and they have little checker bottoms. I realize that now. That is so cool. Okay, let's see here. We have some books. Let's read some books. So we have Jimmy Neutron, Goddard Come Home. Must have been some kind of programming era. We have Over the Garden Wall. My Cartoon Network comic book collection is starting to get pretty freaking incredible. Devastating the Cartoon Network comic book industry. Like, how could one man have so many of the, the different series? That's like the rap pack. We have Over the Garden Wall, another issue. We have Adventure Time Whoa. Comics, number two. <laughs> Adventure Time Comics number 57, Lumberjack, which I've never even heard of this, to be honest, or Lumberjanes. I'm not, not even familiar with this. That's super cool, the Lumberjanes. And then we also have SpongeBob Easter Parade, Holly Jolly Jimmy, <laughs> <laughs> where Jimmy helps Santa deliver his presents. I love Goddard's little red nose there, a little red LED, I guess. Oswald, bicycle for sale. Man, this is by you got holes in the tire, the rusty chain. Yeah, I'll give you a 450. We got Wubsy Gets Lost. We have Spongebob. Vote for Spongebob. Yeah, I'll vote for him every day of the week. This awesome book, which is the Tiny Toons Golden Sound Story. So it's a little book here. And then, of course, as you go... Look, this guy's name was Mitch. Yeah, it was. Mitch P. That's Poe. Oh, Mitch Poe. Like an Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Mitchell Poe. <laughs> <laughs> Mitch Poe. And then it has sounds. Kind of yeah. weird. They almost signed it like me. That's weird. Yeah, that probably was you back when you were in the Poe family. <laughs> <laughs> but it definitely needs new batteries. So you guys can hear, you know, you just got to change those out. But still really, really clean there. All right. Then we have SpongeBob Soak It Up. And this is obviously a coloring book, a new activity book here. We've got a lanyard, a new SpongeBob Ooh. lanyard and a lanyard hook. We do not have this one. It's from Universal Studios. It has the many faces of SpongeBob here. That is so cool. I believe that this went to one of the drink cups and it would hang on with this on the drink cup and then you could just like, you know, carry this big drink <laughs> on, on your neck. <laughs> this is way cooler as a lanyard though. Ooh, some SpongeBob napkins. Gotta have those. Yep. We have a Wow Wow Wubsy uh, puzzle it looks like here. We have an Avatar The Last Airbender light here, a little LED, LED display. This lights up so he's in his Avatar state there. We have a Rugrats gift bag here. A uh, SpongeBob calendar from 2014. That was a pretty okay year. We have some Scooby-Doo gift wrap. Ooh, some new SpongeBob folders to add to the collection. Hey. These are a little past my era. I did not have these ones growing up. These are really cool nonetheless. Favorite design's gotta be this one. He's so yeah. cute. <laughs> Ooh, oh, dude, no, this is sick. This is the SpongeBob movie theater movie projection. So this book, if you have that projector too, is super, super rare. It's hard to find the projector. This is the book. It looks like the book made have gotten detached from the base here. So you actually can read the book and then the projections come up here on screen and here's the different reels you can actually put in there. That's crazy. Nickelodeon was making reading fun, man. That is so cool. So here's actually the book. We can take a little look here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So yeah, you read it and then you'd put in disc one, image one, and then you could put the projection on to get the images. So your book doesn't <laughs> have pictures. Who's this not Fred Fred? <laughs> that's, a, that's one of Fred's uh, equivalents, basically. Oh yeah. Square pants. Well, I guess it's time to move again. So yeah, that's how the whole book works. This is really sick to see. Let's make some space here because we have a lot more media to check out. By me making space, I mean let's put everything in front of Mitchell. <laughs> Currently. All right, so let's see what we got here. He told me not to pick this up because he was going to send this, and that is the PSP UMD first season wow. volume one of SpongeBob. Green label. That's green label. sick. <laughs> I'm going to put this in the green label shelf. I think it's deserving. It looks just like it. Why not? Yeah, you know? I mean, it's technically one year after the Green Label era, but it, it, it still it fits, you know? That is clean. And it still has the insert in there, too. I can appreciate that for sure. 
And this is really cool too. I'm trying to think, is this the one that came with the SpongeBob Video Now? But this is the SpongeBob Video Now best day ever for the Video Now. No! Oh, that's See, for the color. Okay. This is for the FX though. Yeah. So the SpongeBob one is just the colors. I, it might have come with that. I do have one of these sealed in the collection. We haven't been able to review yet here. So I will let you know for sure if this comes in it. But either way, we don't have one loose like this that I can think of. So. Has it got any discs? It feels like there's some disc in there. Oh Ooh. yeah, there's some disc in there. Star Wars? Star Wars there, Luke's, the story of Luke Skywalker. We have SpongeBob here. Oh yeah, we have a bunch of SpongeBob ones in here. Some Jimmy Neutron as well too. And then uh, Jeff Corwin. Alaska's Northern Exposure. I don't know if Alaska gave you permission to expose them like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have one more back here, which is another SpongeBob one. And honestly, these discs are not terrible for video now standards. If you want to see the worst disc you've ever seen in your life, it's not on the PlayStation. It's not on the freaking Wii. Hey, it's not even on the freaking the, the, the VTech. Video now disc they are usually atrocious dude because it was literally kids would use them and they were left responsible for these and i feel like they designed it to be the most scratchable disc ever so your, your parents have to go buy replacements you know like i swear i remember like playing some and now you just you'd hear the disc like scraping inside because you're like trying to like press it or something yeah. <laughs> yeah just moving it hits it and stuff but yeah these discs are not bad this one was dunces and dragons which is a later uh, uh color episode and you can check that out that's one of the cleanest video now discs i've ever seen okay so that's really cool and it looks like we have a couple more in here too. We have another video now, SpongeBob disc there. We have SpongeBob's Employee of a Month, which is a very, very fun PC game. Huh, the Trolls huh. movie. I've never seen this movie before. The animation seems like dead set in our childhood though. If I had the hair of one of these, I wanted to be this one. The star. <laughs> you could like, from any direction, you could uh, stab something. <laughs> 2005, that's crazy. I never saw this show growing up. Okay, so we have some more media here. So this is all gonna be media and books. So let's just check it all out. We have some SpongeBob party invites, exactly. So uh, these, I'll probably, I think I have these in the collection. So a lot of times too, if we have extras in the collection, you'll see it over there on whatnot. We do giveaways for it. And not just that, we also, we'll just throw it in people's packages if we have like doubles and stuff like that. So that way it gets to somebody in the community here. And all of these right here, I think we have. So I'll just be dropping these in people's packages on whatnot. So that way they just get us a little freebie. And I'm sure they're gonna appreciate it. And invite them to the party. So they have a party that is the rep pack on Comfort Cartoons every single week, three times a week, maybe sometimes four times a week, baby. Sorry I called you baby, but it's my thing recently. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We have Yo Gabba Gabba here on DVD. We have a pup, ooh, that's cool. Whoa, that is awesome. A pup named Scooby-Doo, volume one, two, three. What's up to three? Four. four. <laughs> that's so cool. We have, oh, we do not have this right here, the Lemony Snicket Streetback. Snicket <laughs> Streetback. The Streetsmack with Hugo on there. I do not have Hugo in the collection at all. Is Hugo also Nickelodeon? No, I'd have to assume it's maybe Paramount. It's Paramount. I don't know if Hugo would be considered Nickelodeon though. No, so Hugo is not technically Nickelodeon. That's why. I, Spider Wick I, is. Yeah, Spider Wick and also Lemony Snicket's um, series of unfortunate events. But I mean, Hugo's kind of right there with them, you know? I used to know a guy named Hugo. He would always bring these massive bean burritos to school. I would always be super jealous sitting there with my skimpy little Lunchable or like a ham sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this man's got a freaking restaurant sized burrito. Shout out to Hugo and those burritos. Well, mostly shout out to his mom who made those burritos. And then right here we have, oh, a nice little stack of books here. Or should I say a big stack of books. We have Kim Possible. We have the Naked Brothers Band book. We have 15. I love that Limestone always finds these old school Nickelodeon books because we do not have many of these at all. We have this one right here. We have Hey Arnold, the movie book in great shape there. We have Star Spangled Babies. We have I'm Your Biggest Fan where she meets that girl that locks her in her freaking house. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on to your diapers, babies. We're going in. Zoe 101, Girls vs. Boys. And then also the Jimmy Neutron movie book. All right, some more DVDs here. Let's just go through the stack. Let's check it out. All right, so we have Nautical Nonsense, the first ever disc. Another copy of the SpongeBob movie. We have Sea Stories. We have Season 4, Volume 1, which this is really clutch because we have the Season 1, 2, and 3 open and accessible on the show, but we do not have the uh, original boxes. I'm working on getting these. I have this. 
this one right here, I think I have sealed. This one we are still looking for, but this one right here, these both of these we do not have as watchable copies. So these will be going over there as our watchable. And these are the originals, because right now you can find season four in this box, but this was the original release of them. They came out in these like boxes. After season three, they started releasing them in volumes because I guess, um, money but nonetheless came out in volume so these are the two different volumes there oh and that's one of the, this this is the episode where patrick may, gives spongebob like this giant ball of gum this is season four but this feels so much like a season like nine or ten episode yeah it's weird it's so strange how some of the season four episodes feel so late okay then we have let's learn colors roly poly oly springtime fun the drake and josh book surprise we have bone. the perfect bone we have Roxy Hunter, as seen on Nickelodeon. This is a Nickelodeon movie, yeah. Oh. <laughs> There's some other weird Nickelodeon movies you've probably never heard of. Like Nickelodeon does a lot of like small releases of movies that just kind of just kind of pop up. This is from the executive producer of Zoe 101. But there's another movie I just recently found. It's called 100% Coco. Never heard of it in my life, and it's also a Nickelodeon movie. So I got that one in the collection, but I had never you know seen it before. So they have a lot of crazy like random movies. American Idol. You can watch one? early episodes of American Idol on video Kelly Clarkson now. One? I didn't even know that. I didn't even know you could get American Idol on video now. And then we have the first movie and second movie two pack DVD here. All right, so that actually sums it up for Limestone's box here. That was incredible, so much fun to check out. Again, shout out to Limestone Picker. Major, major love to him, an awesome supporter of the show. He's been supporting for a long time too. Thank you again so much, Dustin. Make sure you guys show him some love in the comments down below. We had some more boxes to check out here, so let's go ahead and get into them. We gotta clear the table for the time being, but of course, we got to label a bunch of this stuff for Dustin as well, too. Dustin's already got his name and a bunch of awesome stuff here in the cavern already. But we got to make sure we get this stuff labeled. So we'll put it to the side. Let's get into the next box. And again, much love to you, Dustin. Okay, so let's see the next box here. Oh! That has a huge one. That's a heavy one. I didn't even know they sold this long of priority mailboxes. This came from Maddie Kudzlax in North Carolina. Shout out to you. We have, let's just grab it out like this. We have, ooh, is that another ooh. copy of the, is this another? Oh, is the other one like red? Yeah. I feel like this might be a fifth variation of the Rugrats Christmas VHS. <laughs> How many are there? <laughs> That's crazy. Rugrats Christmas VHS, possibly another variant. We have Scooby-Doo, Safari So Good. What's new Scooby-Doo? Oh, what's new Scooby-Doo is on VHS? Yeah. I didn't even know that to be honest. I didn't either. <laughs> yeah. Not What's not so new, Scooby-Doo? All right, then what else do we have here? Ooh, Ooh a limited schnicket. A, a series of unfortunate events on VHS. We have rhymes and riddles. Next up here we have Scooby-Doo Great Mysteries. Most popular mysteries. Yeah, you know those other mysteries? Not weren't so, so great, weren't mm -hmm. so popular. Now they're amazing, but it's funny that they make that disc, that, that VHS. What was this book here we have? It's Emma book. Jean and the Zebra Horse. Huh, oh this is her book. She wrote this book, that's amazing. We have an author in the show here and she signed it. She signed it, that is so cool. That is awesome, great job Maddie. I'll definitely be checking this out Maddie and great job on, on getting this done. That is, I wouldn't even know where to start to make a book. And you freaking did it. That is that's such some dedication and awesome hard work. So thank you so much for sending this and I'm honored to have this signed by you. That, that made my whole freaking week. Thank you so much. All right, the next up here we have Scooby-Doo and the Ghoul School, an amazing movie. Great movie. Yeah, Blue's Jobs. Now how many you got? Yeah, you see he said Garfield, he gets weekends and you know, he, he's at work. So it's like, okay, you don't deserve those weekends. But Blue, my man's a doctor, he got a PhD. Ain't even a man. <laughs> we have uh, Rugrats the Passover. We have Scooby-Doo Original Mysteries. Scooby-Doo Where's My Ooh. Mummy on VHS. Ooh, this one's interesting. We have Tom and Jerry, Shinks and Shrieks. <laughs> That's hijinks. Oh, hijinks and, and shrieks. No, that, that, all, that makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> Dora, a wish upon a star. This is paramount, but Dora can wish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's some cool Cool VHS Scooby Doo movies that I didn't even know had VHS's to be honest. We have Witch's Ghost. Solid. Everybody's favorite ever. Zombie Island. Yeah. We have Arabian Nights. 
just like Arabian Days. That's also Disney. There's a lot of Disney related uh, titles here today. <laughs> we have Dora and the Fairy Tale Adventures. Aloha Scooby Doo. Another good movie. No clue that was on VHS at any point. Oh, and it looks like we have a note here too. It got a little bit squished back there. So we have the Flintstones. Let's check these out real quick. We have the Flintstones here. I remember watching that and it was, it was weird. Yep, yep, I mean, John, I, I love John Goodman, so I remember liking that movie. The merchandise for that show, a little weird looking though. Creepy. <laughs> we also have Diego Saves <laughs> Christmas. On an alpaca. You know, like, Santa has to mess things up every year for a new intellectual property to save him the next year. Just Whether like, it's like Jimmy or <laughs> Diego or whoever <laughs> or, or else. Oliver or, or, <laughs> or Oswald or it's like, yeah, you know, Scooby. Uh, literally, like, he's probably like, if you want to save Christmas, Next year for Santa, he's booked. He's booked for the next 20 years with different intellectual properties saving him. All right, so yeah, the gun the list. <laughs> Ren and Stimpy here. Another one of these, we just, we're getting a bunch of these today. Another one I don't believe we have. Go ahead and just push him in here. Bloop, bloop. Yeah, hopefully Stimpy's not in there. <laughs> I might hear some cat fight going on in there. <laughs> <laughs> you mean some cat scratch? <laughs> so Maddie said that she always hits the like button in five seconds. Well, thank you so much, Maddie. We just do that for a little fun thing to kind of remind you guys if you guys can hit the like button, it helps us out so much. It really, really does. If you guys can always hit the like button whenever you watch the video, it's just kind of a little way to support what we're doing here and hopefully it kind of sends it out to other people. And the other biggest thing you can do is leave a comment. Again, I know not every time do you have something to say, but it really helps us out so much and we appreciate it. I read every single comment. Even if you feel like you comment on every video, maybe it feels redundant. I promise it's not. Just even if you, even the people that put first, that's good. It helps us out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, first, whatever it is, you know, second, third. Uh, if you just leave a, an exclamation point, Look, just something. Smiley face. Okay. Yeah, smile, a little emoji, anything in the comments, we appreciate. So if you guys want to find a way to help us out on the show, leave a little comment on every single video, and that that helps immensely. So an awesome letter here, and she also said that to tell Daisy hi and that she's an adorable. Horrible goofy goober. <laughs> I will absolutely do so. And she said that her book, this book right here, is also available on Amazon. So if you want to support a member of the Rep Pack there and you're interested in the book, uh, go take a look at it. Uh, thank you again so much, Maddie. Much love to you and your family. You're amazing and incredible. Like, I'm so hyped on this book. Thank you so much. All right. So on that note, that's the end of the package. Wait a minute. That's not the end. <laughs> <laughs> so this is actually a perfect timing too, Maddie. We have officially given Blue her own basket. We check out the back of the room here. Blue now has her own basket because we have so many different plushies for Blue. Besides Paw Patrol and SpongeBob, I think Blue may have more plushies than any other Nickelodeon property. I could be wrong, but I really am starting to believe that. So this is definitely a good point to talk about that. And we have a little blue plushie here. So cute. All right. And on that note, that seems to be the end of this one. So thank you so much, Maddie. Let's check out who's next here in the mail time. All right. All right. Next up here, we have a little small one here. I love it. What do we got here? This is from Nick Robson in Norwalk, IA. Iowa? Iowa. All right. So let's take a look here. What do we got here from Nick have a letter. Let's take a look here. Oh, that is adorable. He said, this is from Nick, Paula, the pups, Lulu, Harvey, and Kitty Zoe Storm. That is so cool. That's a cool name for a cat. It says, your videos really make me happy and smile so much. Well, I'm honored and thank you. I appreciate you guys so much for, for giving me the opportunity to be involved in your guys' life. It says, I've been watching them for a while now. Each time I get a notification, I grab a cold soda and jump on the couch. Me and my girlfriend and our pups and Kitty watch them together because who doesn't love SpongeBob? I've been asking that question for years and I still haven't found somebody who doesn't love SpongeBob. And when I find that person, I will question everything about them because I, who doesn't love SpongeBob? That's just, that, that's, that's, they're lying. That's what they're really doing. They're lying. <laughs> they're, nobody doesn't love SpongeBob. Thank you so much. Can't wait for more amazing content to come. Well, thank you so much. Shout out to you, Nick, Paula, and the pups, and Harvey. And we cannot forget Zoe Storm. <laughs> so let's take a look in here. And it looks like, yeah, we have a bunch of adorables. Let's take a look at them. So we have a Jiminy Cricket here with a little ice pop. That is so cute. We have the alien there on a surfboard. I'm going to try to do my own trivia here and name every character. We have Pasquale with a scarf. We have Mickey with a surfboard. I think these might be like vacation themed ones. Oh, look at the bag. It's got Steamboat Willie. This could either be a Disney themed bag, which it is, or it could not be because he's now a free fair use. <laughs> we have Chip and or Dale. Mickey, 
Mickey. And Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> we have Ursula here with a little uh, underwater cocktail. I don't know how that didn't just flow out of her drink. We have Rex here with the little canteen. It's amazing. Daisy Piglet. Oh, Mirabelle Cow. I almost missed one, but there we go. We have Alice there in a bumper car. That's 14 out of 14, man. Pretty good. Pretty good if you ask me. But even though four of them were Mickey but still <laughs> awesome thank you so much and all of those are new to my collection i think besides maybe the uh alien here is like the only one i maybe have a duplicate or this ursula but the rest of them are definitely new so thank you thank you thank you for sending these in so we can add it to the collection all right mitchell i forgot to actually you know what i made a mistake i didn't let you pick the package today yeah we just been going <laughs> so that's why you've been giving me that stern look like that. He hasn't been doing that, but I feel like one moment, <laughs> I feel like for a moment I blinked and I saw that for a second. Like he was just like. Really? That's it. That's because I didn't let you pick. Go ahead and pick. You can pick one of the smaller ones here. Let's take that that one that's under the state fair state fair corn dogs. Under the state fair corn dogs. Yeah, this one. one? Whatever that is. All right, whatever that is, let's check it out. This is coming from. I don't know. It doesn't say. We'll find out. <laughs> All right, it is open. Ooh. <gasps> We have secret boxes. This is a secret box. I can't wait to see what's in it. Ah, oh, what in the world? What the heck? Dude, it actually has the string here. So we can see a secret underneath it, just like Patrick's secret box. There we go, that is so cool. We have a secret box. We have Mitchell's secret box. Ooh. You have your own secret box. No, you can't look in the there. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like they have some uh, some made stuff too. So we have a little pineapple planter. Looks like they made this out of like maybe like a like a solo cup or something. We didn't find out who sent this yet, but even they remember it's SpongeBob Garage. Good. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a note. Let's take a look. So this is from Michaela, Michaela S. And this is Lars from Steven Universe. We have Lars from Steven Universe, and she actually made this. Do you want to know what the original pop was? Yeah, I don't know. It's Sidema. One Punch Man. One, the man of one punches. That's crazy. I would never have guessed that was like, what's at the core? An amazing job. I guess job. it makes sense because he has no hair, so that way you can at least add your hair. Very transformable, yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, and then what else we got here? We have a B. Or SpongeBob. And then another B. <laughs> the note. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have, what is this? Okay, here's the note itself. Let's take a look. Ah, okay, so there's a little uh, wager here. So she said, these are secret box scratch cards. Uh-oh. Yes, these are all scratch cards, and one out of 10 of them apparently has the rights to be able to open up a Patrick secret box that is in here. Ooh. And whoever wins Patrick's secret box and the Valentine's Day box can keep what's in them. Ooh. Okay, okay. I call, this one was a skill crane, and I call. I think there's two of every. The SpongeBob ones. Okay. Well, I'll take the victory. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have some books in here too. We have this one right here. Word Girl, which is a series that a lot of you guys have told me you guys have watched growing up. I've never had heard about it until doing this show. We have a wooden SpongeBob. That is a really well done one. Hi, I'm SpongeBob. Yeah, and then we have his cousin Stanley. <laughs> so I think this is them standing at the cash register. That's... I'm gonna make SpongeBob very mad. <laughs> That's super cute. We have Patrick here, and Aww. then on this side we have Patrick, and on this side we have Sam, we have yeah. Sam here. Oh, this one's so cool. Such a good job on it. <laughs> I defy you. On the back side we have Heart Heartman. Man. <laughs> we have the chocolate. That's that, sick. The bubble, the blimp that SpongeBob brought in on Valentine's Day. That's so creative. Yeah, and then there's Heartman back there. That's really well done. I love that one. So on this oh side my God. we have we have Sandy, and I love how she made the circle, the dome. That's sick. And then we have hibernation, Sandy. <laughs> hey, I'll get you, old pinhead. Hey, crime will never pay. <laughs> and then we've got Mr. Krabs with Plankton in the background stealing the formula. And then we have Mama Krabs and Mama Plankton. These are I've so that. good. That's amazing. Then next up here we have Squiddy's house here, and it has him doing his uh, laying out in his chair here, and it even pops open as well, and you can see the interior of his house. That is incredible. Ooh, ooh. And then we have all oh, you guys didn't need to bring anything, and it's the <laughs> I'm nuts for you. Oh, so it's a Valentine's Day box. That's that's you're supposed to win oh. that. Ooh, we wait. This is the secret. Is this the Valentine? Okay, this is the Valentine's Day box. You're right. We have Patrick's house too. I'm gonna have one of those. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's the Valentine's Day box. Oh, this is awesome. It's a SpongeBob wallet. That's 
sick. And it has uh, it has them all hanging out here for a, a movie premiere, it looks like. That's amazing. This is so cool. The wallet. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we even have some little IDs in here, too. Oh, those are cool. You can put that on your actual credit card. Oh, that's amazing. I might actually do that. Genuinely, I can't show you it, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I definitely will do that. Okay, so let's take a look here. So this is the secret box. We got Valentine's. Yes, yeah, so whoever gets the scratcher that gets it, gets what's in the box here. I'm trying to peek, but can't tape it too well. All right, so I'm gonna do my secret box one. We're doing inside of here, so that way, you know, another dust we can get, dust we can keep it contained. So let's do it here. You gotta, gotta do the first one up here. Oh, okay. Get all the blanks, so whatever you gotta get there. You gotta get all the SpongeBob with the pantyhose on his head. <laughs> pantyhose. So you're doing good. Pantyhose. Oh, well, you better choose wisely. You get one wrong. I'm going straight for it. Pantyhose! So right now you're on a good streak. Oh, I'm on a really good streak. I didn't even let you finish that sentence and I got another one added to that streak. I'm gonna go over here. Oh. oh! Oh! So that one lost it for me. We got two of those. Dang. All right, your turn. All right, here we go. So I gotta get. Okay, so it's the same SpongeBob and Patrick and stuff. Yep, okay. Okay, okay. We're gonna go this one. Oh, yeah. Looking <laughs> good so far. Doing good, too. Oh, oh you lost on that one. <laughs> that is pretty fun, though. I like it. So let's go ahead and do this one next. This one says, get all three of Squidward celebrating. I love that. To win the secret box. Oh, we got, we got one celebrating. Squidward celebrating. Yes. You just need two more. <laughs> Squidward celebrating. Oh. One more. Oh, oh, I can already see his diabolical face. Squilly. <laughs> All right, so I took the L on that one. Your turn. I'm gonna go for the squillium one. <laughs> okay. No, 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 you got celebration time. Oh, two? Oh, now that middle one. Yeah! Oh, you actually won! I got the box. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> How did I know this was so elaborate? This would have probably been its own video. Because it's just so, it's just so like, it's so in depth here. So we're going to be moving on to the next one here in a little bit. But we got to check out what Mitchell's got in this box. I'm kind of hoping it's just like a picture of Patrick or something funny. <laughs> it's just like something troll. <laughs> what do we got here? Maybe it's an embarrassing photo of Marcus at the Christmas party. <laughs> please no. Please no. Ooh, there's a lot in, oh my god. Hey, you got, no, it's not just chocolate. Oh, sorry, truffles. It's premium milk chocolate. Ooh. Premium. We have word bracelets here. Can't go wrong with those. Oh, you really can't go wrong with even more chocolate. Oh, more truffles. More chocolate. You have the orange Krabby oh, Patty. We got a little collection going. Heck yeah. You have more of the DIY bracelets. Cookies. Oh, those look so good. Reese's. Peanut butter Reese's cookies. <laughs> oh, and the best fruit snacks of all time. The fruit and yogurt Welches. Dang. And Valentine's Day chocolates. M&M's. Valentine's basically. Day Krabby Patties. Wow. Some Sour Patch Kid Sour Hearts. They go down to their core, they're sour. <laughs> their hearts are sour. And the mints that have not even hit the adult, adult age yet. Junior mints. And also a Patrick. And there is another secret tab to be pulled here. I guess you should do the honors, Mitchell. Ooh. Go ahead and pull that tab. <laughs> <laughs> it is an embarrassing photo. <laughs> it's SpongeBob doing something embarrassing. You can see SpongeBob's here doing something. Embarrassing photo at the Christmas party. <laughs> I'm assuming he probably ripped his pants. That's what I'm expecting it to be. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> what, a, what a like unique box experience that was. That's awesome. Okay, go ahead and pull your secret box and show them. And I will show them my secret box and we will not see each other's secret box. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> It's not an embarrassing photo of me at the Christmas party, is it? I'll tell you this. Okay. And then Mitchell's secret box, or my secret box, it's a, oh my gosh. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, so that was a, so much fun. Thank you so much again. So much, Michaela. Incredible job on the box from start to finish. Much love, appreciate you. Very creative. Super creative and amazing artwork too. Again, big shout outs to her. Let's go ahead and check out what we got in here next. Okay, corn dog time! I'm oh. hungry, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> I used to eat these corn dogs so much when I was a kid. Yep. That was like my go-to. My mom's not home from work and I gotta eat something food. I always love that they're, it says made with real honey, but like I never tasted the honey. It's in that sweet batter, baby. 
We got we to gotta stop with this baby thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and cut this open. Let's see who it is from. It is from Jeffrey Lyons. Let's take a look here. He used to go to a human school where everything was the same, but now he goes to an animal school because Lyons, his last name. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. Ooh. Okay, so it looks like there's a lot of anime stuff in here. We might have to take a little peek here, but we'll get the stuff that's out for comfort cartoons, and then the stuff that's on the side, we'll put over and we'll open on Anime Avenue. But let's take a look here. Oh my gosh. Can you see through this? No, but it looks like a photo. You're not gonna believe what this is. Two King Reptar, a signed picture from the Shadow voice Whoa. actor. That is so freaking dope. Oh my gosh. Kirk, so I literally have goosebumps. That is so freaking awesome. Yeah, get that thing framed. <laughs> Heck yeah. Oh man, we'll have the voice actor uh, on screen here. That is incredible. The detail of Shadow, like even his glove, you can see the fibers. And that's a really high quality print. Even that is shoes awesome. have like a little leather texture, you know? This definitely has got to get framed. That is so freaking cool. I never thought of all the things, it would be a Shadow autograph we get in here. Literally the embodiment of my childhood edginess. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, three days grace playing in the background <laughs> <laughs> the edge lord king shadow all right so let's take a look at the rest in here we have a michelangelo funko pop oh, oh! It is signed. what the heck i did not expect that the i just saw mikey on the top there a signed michelangelo who, who also voices beef boy what in the world? Oh my goodness. That is amazing. Are you joking me? Thank you so much, Jeffrey. That is so clean. I'm so glad you put it in the pop protector too. So it is signed by Craig Sipes, who actually, yeah, you said this is the voice actor for uh, Beast Boy as well, too. That is awesome. What a, like, <laughs> perfect character, though. Like, he does, like, all these, like, kind of, like, heroes. Yeah. It says, like a turtle do. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Okay, so then after that, we have a Naruto playing cards. Nice. Oh, my goodness. There's a shadow Lego figure. <laughs> <laughs> With a giant sword. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Shadow Lego. Lego figure. Oh, and he's got a little inhibitor ring too. One of his, uh, or no, this is actually is a classic ring. We have a ring right there too. Oh, it has a, a CraigSipes.com, a Peace Love Animals wristband too. Nice. That's really cute. And then we also have some Pokemon in here. So we have a Pokemon Ooh. tin here. We have the Trick or Treat packs. Ooh. We also have this guy right here, That's some Obsidian Flames. Ooh. How Day and fate. Day and fate. So yes, we will definitely be opening this up on the anime channels. If you guys haven't art, he's got a skateboard. He's got a skateboard. How can you make somebody even cooler? You give them a skateboard? He's doing the three things that make you be the coolest person on the earth. <laughs> you have sick hair, you have a sword, and you skateboard. And you got some money to go. <laughs> and you got some cash. There is nothing else you can do to be any edgier and cooler than this. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. But if you guys want to see us open this, we're going to be opening on Anime Avenue. If you guys haven't already, go check out Anime Avenue. We are doing so many new Pokemon videos over there. We've opened up a booster box. We've also opened up an awesome Halloween themed Pokemon know. box. It's all ghost type. And uh, the thumbnail for this one is freaking dope. Shout out to Mitchell. <laughs> <laughs> so go check out that one. Uh, the video is available right now so you guys can go take a look. And we have another one coming as well too. So just, just go check it out. You might really enjoy that if you love Pokemon. We're definitely be doing some more Pokemon videos over there because I'm so passionate about Pokemon and I've always wanted to have like an outlet for that and I just decided I can deny it no longer. I am in love with Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to be making more Pokemon videos. So this stuff will be opened over there for sure. Alright thank you so much Jeffrey. Appreciate you and much love. That was so thoughtful and so sick on top of it. I believe he's on Patreon as well too. So just an amazing supporter all the way around. Love you and appreciate everything you do for the community here. All right, and this one comes from, uh -huh. I believe the name is Keller, and this is coming from PA, so I think that's Pennsylvania. I don't think there's any other P states, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we forgot Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> and this has da, 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 da. Oh, a mystery plastic bag. bag. Interesting. Please open on camera. Okay. Let me just put the camera down here so I can open it on it. <laughs> so let's take a look here. I don't want to rip the paper up here, but it's taped pretty securely. <laughs> the pins. <laughs> the pins. <laughs> oh, nice. 
very, very cute. These, oh. are, these are adorable. Thank you so much, Kellen. So there you guys can see we have Sandy, Spongy, or Sandy, Spongy, Spongy, Squiddy, Gary, and Pat back. <laughs> Who shot you, Kellen? Sorry, English was an issue for a second there. My brain just like died and then came back. Reboot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mitchell, we have two left. Count, Count them. them. <laughs> two. Which one do you want to go with? Nilla folder. Last Nella folder. This one came from Timothy. Timothy Dacus in Florida. Thank you so much, Timothy. Let's see what we got from Tim. Whoa. Okay, so we have an envelope Look here. Look inside. I don't know if you should now. No, I don't want to get turned into a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. I know what happened when Danny looked inside of it. Ooh. Yep. There's a little like card in here. Oh, what the heck? Somebody did a whole SpongeBob like artwork on the side. That's sick. That is amazing. And Squidward's doing the thing even graffitied. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody had to think of like designs for Squidward that didn't even work in Nickelodeon and they picked Squidward doing the thing. That's amazing. That's really cool. Whoever that is, shout out to you. <laughs> yeah, you know what? This carbon store would have been even cooler if they had that originally. <laughs> but what do we have here? We have a SpongeBob AirPods case container. And then there's like this really, really squishy SpongeBob container of some kind. It's like a little burger. Yeah, I like this little sponge burger. It's your secret sauce. That's the secret formula. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have, oh, a really cool SpongeBob. Well, okay, so it's like a, a, a thermos and they got these awesome decals on there too, like a SpongeBob container. Well thought out, I love it. Thank you so much. Starbucks. Starbucks. <laughs> Starbucks need to release these officially. And that's it on that one. So thank you so much. Big shout out again to you, Timothy. Last box. Isaac Kentop. So Isaac Kentop sent this over from, I just thought this was funny. Mitchell said that I can keep my secret dollop of ketchup in this. Who is gonna like come around walking around with their, their dollop of ketchup? And then what was your example? Oh, they just go to the drive through you know, they don't give you your ketchup or your ranch or something. You just have a secret little dollop of ketchup or ranch. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what I'm gonna tell Barbecue the person sauce? who works there. Oh, it's okay, I don't need your ketchup. I got my secret dollop. Hey. Your secret what? <laughs> your, your, your secret dollop? <laughs> what is a dollop? No. It's just a little, tiny little amount. I guess. Don't you ever say dollop in here again. <laughs> All right, let's just make that a rule. I don't want a dollop of nothing. This little dollop of coke. <laughs> that literally this? is. All right, Isaac's package is next. Isaac Kintop from Wisconsin. Let's take a look and see what we got. Mr. Long, Tan, and Handsome here. Ooh, okay, so let's take a look here. He's got his whole, everything in the box is itemized in here. He says, I'm a big fan of Comfort Cartoons. I've been following your channel for a year or two now. I appreciate your efforts to preserve and celebrate cartoon culture. Yes, that is the, the goal always. Thank you so much. It's create a comfortable place where we can all hang out and you know, kind of just never grow up in the Comfort Cartoons world. Your dedication to the mission is truly inspiring. I wanted to show you my appreciation by sending in this package. Here's what you'll find inside. And it has all the items. I'm gonna kind of save it for a surprise though. I'm interested though. Let's take a look. So what do we have here? This is a little secret envelope. Let's take a look inside this first. Random guy on it. Ooh, who's that random guy? That's Mr. Pringle's brother. <laughs> Mr. Fingrel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember those. This is a Patrick silly band, a jellyfish silly band, and also a SpongeBob silly band. That's cool. <laughs> that is really awesome. You know, this is from the movie or whatever where he's running, right? Yeah. Probably. And this is SpongeBob saves the day on Leapster. We also have a book. This is a cat dog trivia book. Now that's a book I need to read. I know a good amount about cat dog, but definitely not as much as I probably could. So I definitely gotta take a look at this one. Ooh, what do we have here? We have a <laughs> British guard. A royal guard. A royal guard SpongeBob. And I also saw a royal sponge guard <laughs> right here as well too. And Mr. Blink <laughs> with this little spin tail here that actually ejects his eyes and his tongue. That is so Nickelodeon, I love it. Oh, this is really, really sick. We gotta save that, that's the best for last. Let's see what we got here though. This is Ooh. on VHS, we have SpongeBob's Home Sweet Pineapple. That is really, that's a clean copy too. SpongeBob's Home Sweet Pineapple on VHS with iconic classics like Rip Pants, Sandy's Rocket, Band Geeks, and Sandy and SpongeBob in the Worm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now this is one we needed in the cavern. We're slowly getting all of these, man. You already know what it is by that. Yep. That is a plug and play. I think, honestly, we have almost all of the SpongeBob ones. We have this camping one now too. We have the camping, the regular one. I think we 
the Fry Cook Games? Fry Cook Games is, is that one right there, yeah. I have to, we have to start deducing which ones we have, but I think we're getting close. We have the Dora one, we have the Bob the Builder one. We're pretty close to having just about all of them. This one we did not have though, Ooh. and this is the Nickelodeon one. Oh, that is sick. And oh man, wait till you see the handle on this. Oh, dude. Whoa. Literally, look at how well that blends into the room here. That is just made for this. <laughs> that is so clean, man. And it's in great condition, too. 2005 Jack Specific Nickelodeon plug and play. And this contains games featuring SpongeBob, Fairly Odd Parents, Jimmy Neutron, and Rocket Power. There is a Rocket Power plug and play game. Dude, we have to continue that series of us playing through all the lessons. Yeah. You know, I gotta continue losing in this series. <laughs> but this is one we definitely gotta play eventually. Oh, I love this. Man, I wish this was the shift knob in my car. That would be cool. <laughs> this is so cool. It looks, it does look very much like a shifter, yeah. Yeah, that is awesome. So this one right here actually still has the game key in here too because you did have um, essentially what is DLC, little cartridges you could put inside of there. Amazing, amazing, amazing. This is gonna look great over on our Nickelodeon shelf. Thank you so much. Awesome package all together. Thank you so much, Isaac. We appreciate it here in the cavern. And yes, I mean, this will definitely be going on display here in the cavern, so you'll be able to see it. This is so clean. All right, on that note, we gotta get all this stuff labeled. Stay tuned here. We're gonna add some items here into the cavern. But before that, you know the drill. <gasps> What's the drill again? Scan it. Okay, so we have everything kind of organized into where they're kind of going to be going in the collection. Of course, some of the stuff's going to be going into our archive, aka the vault. But we have everything labeled here right now. Dustin right there. Timothy, we got you right here. Isaac, we got you over here. Jeffrey, we got this labeled as well too. This one I'm going to have to get a frame for first. But we have that. Everything that we're adding in here is labeled and ready to go. So let's get started on putting some of this stuff away here in the cavern. <laughs> All right, so we have the tin collection here. One of my favorite collections overall. I should just call it the Tin Box Company collection, but we have the tin that was sent in by Limestone. I just put this one right up here in front because it's so sweet. So uh, one of my new favorites, absolutely. So the guests can see the whole section right here, continuing to add more tins in on here. Yeah, I mean, there's never enough. I love the design them so much with that one is really cool so here we go we have the first season volume one psp cartridge or what do you guys call it mini mini disc you're gonna put this in right here i'll probably take off the label a little bit later but boom it fits in right here in my opinion right here perfectly with the season one box set so another new green label item added over here just a really clean one and a good representation of uh of that mid 2000s era so i love it there two new spongebob movies copies added to our collection in there. We have Eureka's castle in here, so I actually put uh, Eureka right here on top of SpongeBob's head, like a little uh, Eureka's castle party hat or some kind. I love it. There we go. And Batley, I actually added him right up there with Blue. If you look on top of Blue's chair, right up there, you got Batley next to Blue. It's some super hype because this is the video now SpongeBob edition. I thought this was the same one we already had. This is the movie SpongeBob video now game cover, and this is the video now. FX best day ever box one. So these are completely different. So I'm going to be adding both of these guys right back here. I already had the SpongeBob movie one, but now we have the best day ever one to go with it. That is just really cool. For the wireless ear pod case that was sent in by Timothy, I'm actually going to add this right here onto the same crochet hook as I have a lot of these ones. They're, they're similar enough in size. So I think it fits in here well. All right. And then Isaac sent this in right here. Oh man, that looks sweet. That is a really good spot for it love it and like i said we might have to play this very very soon i might reorganize it a little bit differently but this is definitely where it's gonna be going the nickelodeon plug and play i cannot get enough of this thing such an amazing design okay and this will sit in by jeffrey lyons and like i said i mean this shelf i like to add a variety to but to be honest this tommy is very cool but the box is pretty beat up i'm probably gonna add him over there with the nicktoons crochet hooks i think that this one is really cool and i think that's a it's a better upgrade in this position this premium real estate state we have michelangelo signed right there by craig sipes perfect 
And I went ahead and added these two because these are pretty rare figures. I have the Sandy one already, but again, these are the Jack specific action figures that they released and I love those designs. And now that we have the Patrick, I moved the Sandy from our little Sandy spot and we have them together. And as we get more, maybe they'll have their own little section out of the box, but we only have two for now. For our Blaze car, we have literally nothing in here that is Blaze. So for one, we, we gave Paw Patrol one item, okay? We have one little corner with a couple Paw Patrol plushies and maybe a Paw Patrol tin somewhere. They may have infected a couple places, but Blaze will get one. I draw the line. I draw the line at Baby Shark. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna have any Baby Shark stuff in here anytime soon, unless we get yeah, unless it's an actual Baby Shark. That's the only <laughs> way. <laughs> but Blaze is gonna go over here next to our hidden Spunky, who's not so hidden because so many of you guys actually spotted him the last time. Button bin here, and oh, update guys. I we have an amazing, amazing, such a sweet member of our Patreon. Her name is Prismatic Phantom, and I talked about it on the show saying that if we could somehow get some employee vest, if anybody out there worked at any of these locations or works there, get, get us access to one. I said Blockbuster, Toys R Us, or Walmart, because that's where most of these type of pins were actually originally released. And it turns out she worked at a Walmart and she might have a certain yellow color vest that she may be, maybe, maybe uh, hooking us up with. We don't know yet, but if we do, I'll keep you guys updated. So now that we have that in mind, this is the button bin here, so. This one right here, choose treachery. It's more fun. I'm a big fan of, uh, not treachery, but the button for sure. So <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and add that in here. And for the SpongeBob movie theater book that we got in from Dustin, it looks amazing. I love the little glitter on the text and stuff, but it won't fit in most of our shelves. But thankfully now, because you guys may see on the new edition here, another bookshelf, there may be something really, really big in the room right now that I cannot show you, but this is the reason we needed editions. Okay, so this is the edition where I have, for right now, I have some of the bigger books here. But as we do some more adjusting here on the bookshelf, we have some placeholder stuff in here that's on display. Play, but all of this is probably going to eventually be moved so that way we can fit in more books Which now we are actually kind of getting closer to but the movie theater book here I'm gonna go ahead and put it right in here Which is all books that are kind of oversized and don't really fit into the shelf in a normal You know that normal category of just being able to go in the shelf because it's just too, too tall So that's where I have those for right now But again, those will probably be moved down the line maybe even behind the bookshelf in a stackable place Okay, so we kind of reached I mean pretty close to maximum capacity in this shelf and now we're gonna be working in we're gonna be taking over a little bit of uh, a Wubsy's territory here I'm gonna have to grab my man Winslow because you won't be able to see him anymore and put him somewhere a little bit better but this is a uh, kind of like our avatar books but you know we kind of just need to make more space for you know other Nickelodeon books because there's not that much room in that section anymore so let's go ahead and move this this way yeah Wubsy told you we were coming for you but <laughs> we have the hey Arnold book I, I do know that we have this in the collection so this one is in way better shape than the one we have currently Currently. And as always, the number one, the number one goal of this collection is the archival purposes of it. So I'm always gonna put the better shape one that we can find to put into the collection and always swap it out whenever we can get an upgrade on the copies. So in this case, we do have a little bit more of a, a, a sharper copy of the Arnold one. Maybe I can try to get this sticker off here, but other than that, it's, it's pretty nice. So we're gonna go and add this one in. Okay, next up here, we have the perfect bone. So let's see here, where would this fit in for us? About here, it looks like. I feel like this is a guaranteed we don't have it so let's go ahead and just put it in here I didn't see anything matching its color so boom there we go we got cat dog in there Holly Jolly Jimmy now this one I feel like we could have it let's see so it looks like it's gonna be more over here on this size okay and I checked out all of our Jimmy Neutron books we do not have Holly Jolly Jimmy so let's see if we can pull off one more in this little section here just because I don't want to have to move all of these if we can fit a couple more in there yeah it's getting pretty tough so you might have to move at least these guys so that way we have a little bit more space here. These are some Rugrats hardcover books. So those will swap over to here, which are actually shorter than, than anything ever. So we're gonna put these here. The so next up, now that we have a little bit more wiggle room in here, we have Gotter Come Home. So I know we don't have this one in, so it looks like it would fit in right about here. Let's go ahead and put that one in there. Boom, there we go, Gotter Come Home. And Wubsy, I told you. We came for you. It's finally time for you to move, you son of a gun. Oh my God. <laughs> so, will you have a new, you only have two more shelves of usefulness. 
and then we rest the house on you <laughs> and we see if you can hold it <laughs> but for now i think you'll be able to hold you guys got a good spot here we got a good you know nice little lease here because this is the spider wick and edgar and ellen section we don't add to this very often so you should be okay for a little while i'm more talking to him than you guys i'm sorry okay and uh, despite this missing a piece here um i you know obviously want to add to the collection just because it's super cool and of course we, we take any number we can get when it comes to the spongebob collection here so let's go ahead and put this in right here as of right now i haven't had to relocate any of these books you know into the vault because we still had enough space for all the coloring books so i don't know the coloring books are really thin they just kind of just don't take up as much space as you would think okay and we have a really cool spongebob spooky pants book and i love that even though it's got a small piece it still has a little bit of a siding there so i'm gonna put this right in here it's like perfectly matched in that section we have just enough space still here in the spongebob shelf to add that in there it's very few and far between that we get a new spongebob book in here so there we have it so a lot of the vhs's dvds if they're not something that we can put right here in this setup because this is all stuff that we watch often something that i might want to grab and put it on right here so we can watch it but a lot of the dvds of course it could be a season one season two part two or it could be attack in the power of juju or it could be the spectacular which is like maybe not a movie i'm gonna watch but i'm glad to have it in the collection for the archival purposes so that kind of stuff will go in our vault Okay, the archive. And same thing with the Santa experience. I have all the variations of the Santa experience in the vault currently, but because of the fact that this is, you know, the oldest one, this is the one that I have here in the cavern because this is the one I would likely, you know, use if I needed to or use it for reference. But we only have one of this old school style one. Then after that, it starts to change by the cover. So I'm pretty sure I can confirm that this box here is yet another variant of the Rugrats Santa experience. Experience. Bring it to, I think, a grand total of five, maybe six different Rugrats Santa Experience VHS covers. Uh, really cool. I kind of like this one better because that one looks like Tommy is being boiled. Where, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> whereas this one looks a little bit more, you know, a, a normal. So I prefer this one, but but I just wanted to show you guys this one. This one, I think, is still the older one, but probably be going in the vault for right now. But just wanted to compare them and show you guys the difference. Okay, so this is where our Nickelodeon uh, to go bag usually goes but we have right here all the lanyards in the collection i have some of you guys may remember here we have the chuck e cheese one there we have this mr crabs one that we got in the i think we pulled this in the actual the old vault we have the storage unit a bunch of different lanyards here and we do not as you guys can see have this universal studios clip on one so we're gonna go and add this one right up here as well too and if you want to know this is where the unboxing knife oh my gosh this is where the singular unboxing knife sits Okay, so technically those are from the days where Garfield was not Nickelodeon, but at the same time, those are so cool. So I put them right there next to Ren and Stimpy. I mean, they weren't Nickelodeon at a point too, so why not? Okay, and then Michaela's art piece. I rarely ever add anything into the cavern that's not officially licensed. Yeah, I think we have like a handful of items, but I love that little chocolate heart so much that I wanted to hang it right here just to kind of have it. As we walk out the cavern, so you know, Michaela, as we walk out the cavern every single walk time we walk out we'll see your uh your little chocolate heart right here and i'm getting a little bit more extensive here on the putting away for fan mail a lot of times we keep it a little shorter but just so you guys have a good general idea of like you know the new changes here so here's a lot of napkins party related stuff so i'm going to add the napkins in there and also the uh the orange patty will be added in here too and garfield this is my 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 candy container and there's literally a single one in here, so you know that that's that's good. But <laughs> yeah, the candy container does there. I'm adding in the Garfield here in the kitchen. This bottom row is is tough because like you know when you clean the counter, it can get wet. So it's got to kind of be specific on what I put here. But since this is made out of tile, I'm not as worried about it. But there we go, we have it in here. Wow. So I think this really is. I'm trying to see. This is the complete first season, and then this is second, third, and fourth season all in one box. I really don't know, like, if this is the whole collection or not, but nonetheless, it's it's still pretty cool. So I don't have this one. I gotta sleeve this guy up as well. This is gonna go on our stack for all the series, and this one as well too is not a movie. So all the movies are on the left side for right now until we get so many movies that we have to get into this section. But this is all series disc compilation 
broken disc, stuff like that. So volume one of Scooby-Doo, Shaggy and Scooby-Doo get a clue. And also a pup named Scooby-Doo will be going with a pup named Scooby-Doo in that same stack. Okay, so there's a couple here in the doorbells that I want to add. One is Maribel Cow, this little Mickey with the surfboard, and come on, Alice in the bumper carts. And also this Daisy is adorable, and I love daisies, of course. So we're going to add these in. And then, of course, any of the extra ones will be going in our expanded Dorables collection here. This guy I'm saving for the Toy Story collection. So we got to take some people out. So who is your vote on? We have to take four people out. I'm thinking, oof, it was tough for me to do this. I am thinking we take out this Ralph. I think that's a better Ralph. So we'll take out this Ralph. I think we take out this Miguel because we already have a really cool Miguel down here. And I think we take out this Wally because we have another really cool Wally. <laughs> And we take out one of the Mickeys. We do have a lot of the Mickeys here, so let's take one of the Mickeys out. Okay, so let's replace those people now. Alice, let's put her right over here. You know, break up some of this evilness. Let's put Mickey back with Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> Maribel, put her next to uh, her friend, her, fr her old time friend, Minnie here. And then uh, Daisy as well too. And Pasquale uh, and Pascal would just be, you know, just the homie <laughs> in between the old school crew there. All right, and then Rex, I think we have another Rex around here somewhere, but for right now, I don't know where he is. So we're gonna go ahead and put this Rex right in here with, you know what, let's go ahead and put her next to Trixie. You know, I hate to put them together just because they're dinosaurs, but you know, it looks cool. So there we go. And of course, it's in the $20 Toy Story collection where every single item is under $20. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Mail Time. <laughs> if you guys did, hit the like button and subscribe if you're new here. If you guys want to support the show even further, you can go check our Patreon where you can sign up for only $2 a month. And when you sign up, you get extended versions of every single video that we upload on any channel. And there's a huge back catalog of videos that have already been uploaded there. Plus there's other other tiers as well too with different perks we just uploaded a q a video that was like 30 minutes of me and mitchell just talking and laughing and having fun that's over there and available right now and you even get early releases of some videos as well too and if you want to see us live go check out the whatnot stream where we're live every single friday plus we have a very very special dollar stream coming up where every single item on the auction will, will be starting off at one dollar if you don't want to miss that go check that out and we do giveaways every single stream and if you haven't heard me say the trillion in one time maybe trillion and two you get a $15 coupon when you sign up that you can use on your first purchase towards anything so just come and hang out with us and if you don't know, use the $15 don't use the $15 but just say hi <laughs> we'd appreciate it that link will be down below as well I'll see you guys over here in this video that I know you're gonna love and as always rep pack I will see you beautiful people thank you again so much for just watching this video in the next one Bloop.